When it's this peaceful, why would you want to rush? Sometimes it's okay to be last. Last year, Highway 7 was the last highway rebuilt from the floods 10 years ago. And because we had a fixed amount from the federal government to recover, we wanted to make sure that we could deliver all of the other projects. Purposefully put off, the highway was guilty of having good emergency repairs, the fewest vehicles, and alternate routes to Allens Park and Estes Park. Now, were they easy routes? No, but it was, um, like I said, the lowest volume of traffic. Traffic is why US 34 between Greeley and Kersey was one of the first roads rebuilt. This bridge never existed uh, prior to the 2013 event. Before the 2013 floods, this bridge was a road on top of an embankment that got washed away. And instead of rebuilding the same road for less, CDOT asked for more money from the federal government to build a bridge over dry land. And while it was under construction in 2015, we had another similar event and we've got pictures that show there was water up to the bottom of the girder, so it really served its purpose. We can't keep throwing money at disasters, right? The federal government eventually is going to say, hey, whoa, 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 why didn't you take care of that road when you went in and repaired it before? So Johnny Olson was the CDOT regional director for this part of the state in 2013. Yeah, I'd say about 75 to 80 percent of the damages were um, in Region 4. So imagine his surprise when he found out on live TV what then Governor John Hickenlooper expected of him and CDOT. And the next morning I wake up and he's on Channel 9 News <laughs> saying we're going to have this open in 60 days before Thanksgiving and my jaw hit the floor and I'm like, so I call in that morning and I'm like, what does open mean? For Olson, that meant one non-paved lane to give access to first responders and allow residents to be able to get food. Then two gravel lanes and ultimately paved lanes. Your jaw hit the ground, but what was the first thing that came out of your mouth? Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> and then And then it was like, yes, sir. We were fully open before Thanksgiving. I've been part of transportation for 32 years. And I've been part of good teams, but that was the most amazing thing is to watch people work together.